Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures and our Charged Up series, co-produced with the David Suzuki Foundation. This week we visit Louis Bull First Nation in Musquachis, Alberta. This tiny indigenous community has embraced solar energy. Councillor Desmond Bull first brought the idea to his chief a few years ago. After the initial meeting, my chief gave me permission to go do some research and development. I was able to reach out to a training company and installation company, Gridworks Energy. They offered a five-day training course. So I immediately took that course with one of my colleagues and learned more about the industry and understanding. And from there, that's where I began to network. Since then, Louis Bull has installed solar on many of its public buildings. I really think this is a huge opportunity for us as First Nations to get involved in this industry. First Nations people, they always had that connection to Mother Nature in regards to utilizing what she has to offer. And potentially, I really think these type of projects do that. Kind of fits very well in regards to using Mother Nature to take care of yourself. In addition to working with Gridworks, Louis Bull recently launched a collaboration with Iron and Earth, an organization that promotes renewable energy opportunities for oil workers. Iron and Earth and Louis Bull tribe members learned to install solar together during a real life installation. In regards to having our membership do the installations, having them be a part of the process, what happens there is it resonates down to every community member and everyone can say, my cousin installed that, my uncle installed that, my auntie, my niece. You know, there's that connection that you have that pride of ownership. So far, Louis Bull Tribe has installed 188 kilowatts of solar on public buildings. It's important to me that this is clean energy. It shows our our responsibility toward environmental stewardship. It shows our responsibility in in creating sustainability for those next seven generations. Our grandkids, their grandkids. At the end of the day, that's what we really got to look out for and not what's filling your wallet, but you know, what's filling your heart and what you want to create and leave that legacy behind of what you're doing. Desmond Bull believes that all communities should consider going solar. I mean, if we can prove this can be done here in a First Nation community, I believe every municipality or every county or every city, village has that opportunity to move in this direction also so they can become more self-sufficient on their own, but also create capacity development and have people trained in their local community. Alongside local workers, the trainees took a five-day upskilling course put on by Gridworks Energy. Louis Bull tribe members made a point of involving the outsiders in cultural ceremonies. You know, some of them never took part in a pipe ceremony, a sweat. Some of them never even had moose meat. So it was that uh, cultural integration that really helped this program be a lot more successful. But I think it goes back to the understanding, I believe, and what the treaties are, that we as First Nations and Canadian citizens, we need to take care of each other, take care of the land, and take care of the future generations. Desmond Bull hopes to spread the renewable energy message to neighbouring communities, Indigenous and non-Indigenous alike. Well, I think true success in what we're moving towards is us cultivating and providing energy for ourselves, our community members and people within the community itself. But I believe, honestly, the next step for us is the macrogen system where we can create partnerships with our surrounding counties, with our surrounding municipalities, with our surrounding farmers, where everybody in the area has an invested interest in that macrogen system and it's community run and community owned by everybody in the area. Desmond also believes that projects like this can provide an important pathway toward reconciliation. This is abundant, it's clean, and for First Nations, I believe it brings that connection back to Mother Nature in regards to environmental stewardship and and utilizing what she has to offer. But also, I believe the green energy movement will be assisting First Nations and Canadian citizens in working collectively together in regards to taking care of this nation and taking care of each other. Check out our video, blog, and photos at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.